Miami Marlins have been red hot winners of five straight. A lot of that is thanks in part to Luis Arias, who's gone five for five for the third time Ooh. this month. Yeah, if he hits 400, though, that's going to be the question. Could he be? The MVP of the National League. I had a good conversation, Gary, with Joel Sherman about this earlier. And I asked him, he said, number one, when do you actually have to submit your vote? He said it's not until after the regular season is over. Of course, you get into the semantics of what is an MVP, most valuable player. Are you the most valuable player of your team to get into the postseason? As you take a look here at the standings, the Marlins, if the postseason began today, would be in the mix. So, Gary Sheffield Jr., would he earn the title of National League MVP? You have to be. Right? How can you see? I, that's what I don't understand is I know I love, I, I don't harp on analytics, but you can't also ignore it. See, to me, if a guy's hitting 400, sometimes you got to watch the game and say, how much is, is this guy impacting this team in particular? And once you've done that, like if you watch the Yankees last year and you say, look at Aaron Judge and what he's doing, you're yeah. like, okay. Th this is very clear we're looking at an MVP and it's not so much of look at Otani's stats and here and stats there. If you just watch the Yankees, you're like, this thing doesn't go without him. So that's a that's great an MVP. point. He kind of was the motor of that Yankees vehicle who did make it all the way to the LCS. Ariel, do you agree with this sentiment or what would it take for a rise to win NL MVP? Arise just has to hit 400 through the season, be the first one since 1941 when the Hall of Famer himself, Ted Williams, did it. Now, Ted Williams did not win MVP that year because Joe DiMaggio won it. The Yankees won the World Series. You had to be in contention for a World Series then. I don't agree with that sentiment. Aaron Judge last season broke the American League record for most home runs in the league. If you're going to break history the way that Arise could if he hits 400 through the whole season. As much as I love Ronald Acuna, who's the favorite currently, and Arise is still pretty deep down the list, fourth on the list at 18 to 1. It's a big separation, minus 140 wow. towards 18 to 1. It's big difference. Arise is a lot of value, though, because if he does hit 400, it's history. You got to give it to him. X. She mentioned Ronald Acuna Jr., who is currently the favorite. You see some other names in the mix here, including Corbin Carroll, the rookie, could make a play. And, of course, don't count out Freddie Freeman of the Dodgers. Could you make an argument for Luis Arise to be crowned the National League MVP in 2023? Yeah, let me give Luis Arias his flowers first. I mean, you think about the three, game, the three different games of this month that he's had five hits. First of all, from a player's perspective, that's ridiculous. It's I know how hard it is to get one hit in one game in the major leagues, let alone five. Um, the, the one thing for him is he's so special. He, he impacts the game every single day. But I have to look at the other guys on this list you just showed me. And you think about the history that... Uh, Ariel just talked about, right, you breaking history or doing something that's only been done since 1941. You've got to think about the same thing for Corbin Carroll, what he's done as a rookie. He could be historic doing the same things he's been doing. I look at Ronald Acuna Jr. He could be the fifth player to, be, to have a 40-40 season. Those are both historic things that those players can do as well. So to me, the edge goes to them for the time being. But if Arise is able to hit 400 and his team gets deep into the postseason, I look at that being a special impact within itself. Uh, but ultimately, I look at the other guys. They're going to make it hard for Luis Arise. You're looking at the other aspects of the game as well. We had our great researcher, Mark Sales, kind of look into the war for all of these players. Of course, Ronald Acuna Jr., Corbin Carroll a lot higher up, uh, whereas Arise, just given his position, is a lot lower. But let me ask you this. X what if a rise hits 410 or higher at what like what is the breaking point in which you just can't turn away and say no yeah I, I would believe it would be 407 right we talk about Ted Williams hitting 406 back in 41 still coming in second MVP voting to to uh to J Joe DiMaggio but I still look at if he's able to pass that or surpass that mark, then you're talking about something that's never been done, right? Mm -hmm. Or something that we haven't seen in forever. Um, then you're talking about real MVP status right there. I think that would be the difference. The man next to him in batting average for the National League is Ronald Acuna Jr. Far down the list, I think Acuna is hitting 325, something along those lines. Yeah, I think he's right about there. The stolen bases are really important, too. It's the leading in stolen bases, leading in batting average. How about the arm? The arm. The great, great. His fielding. Everything about Ronald Acuna 
speaks to MVP, which is why he's favored. I am just the batting average. Uh, Acuna is 325, spot on. So I just I agree with X. You have to break records in order to win. And no one said last year Shohei Otani wasn't an MVP. He was, and he still is. Otani is amazing. Top five in ER and strikeouts. Top five in uh, home runs this year. Last year was doing all that top 15. Was the first player since Babe Ruth to even be top 15 in those categories. Yet Aaron Judge broke a record. I agree with X. You break a record, you're you're in for MVP.